Hey everybody, this is Erica Carlson with Bricks Real Estate. I'm a realtor here in the Twin Cities, mostly on the Minneapolis side. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, wanting to talk about going a little bit deeper on that decision to buy a house um, that's maybe a little bit more on that lower surface, the things that aren't talked about as much. You know, when you go online, you'll see a lot of financial questions about are you ready to buy financially? And there's plenty of calculators, there's plenty of quizzes out there to help you determine if financially this is the right fit for you. But what about emotional? We don't really talk about that as much. So here's five questions to think about before deciding whether home ownership is the right fit for you, whether it's still this year or next year or beyond. So the, the first big one that I want you to think about is the concept of putting down roots or roots, roots, roots. Um, I guess it depends on where you're from, how you say that word. So are you in a position in your life where staying in one place is gonna be doable, like whether it's your family, situation, friends, um, your career, these things are really important. So if, for example, when we purchased our house, I lost my job um, pretty much within a year. I learned my son had autism and so I needed to take a break from my career at that time and focus on him for um, a couple of reasons. Also, it was just hard to find a new job. So, so of course it just felt like, oh, well great, now I have a mortgage for the first time in my life and all this other stuff's going on. So it's not like you have to have a crystal ball and know that you're going to lose your job, but it's more generally speaking, if you're buying a house with somebody else, you know, that plays into a role here too. But I'm saying just for you, are you, is this a pretty stable place in your life? Because if it's not, if things have been, um, kind of hard as of lately, then maybe like buying a house isn't the best bet. Also, uh, side note, you know, a lot of people thought the real estate market was going to crash this year or soon, and people are still speaking that way. So my advice to you is, can you see yourself somewhere for at least five years? So normally we would say like two years, but now we're saying five, just because there is no guarantee of like what's going to happen next. So if you can't see yourself in a place for five years, then maybe home ownership isn't the right fit right now and just continue to rent would be better for you financially or, you know, whatever else is going on in your life. So the second question to consider out, uh, consider is the privacy issue. It, you know, when you rent, things can go really well for a while, get a new neighbor, things aren't great anymore. So Obviously, when I say rent, I know everybody's in a different situation, but if you're looking for something to be more your own, then home ownership is probably a good fit right now. Um, if that's not a factor for you, then you know maybe it's not as much of a driving force. Number three, what about your current job? Is it pre Are you pretty content? Is it pretty stable? Not only are the lenders going to look at your job history and your partners if you're buying with somebody, but... Um, that, again, that continues to be a factor after you're under the mortgage because, again, you don't want to be in a vul vulnerable situation. So it worked out for me. Uh, I did buy the house with somebody else, so that was the cushion. Uh, but, of course, it doesn't always work that way. Number four, your debt to income ratio. Is that looking pretty good? Is there still a lot of debt out there that needs to be taken care of? Again, the lender is going to look at this. This is a big factor. Everybody talks about credit score. That's a factor. Debt to income is another. Your job history is another. They're looking at you as a whole financial person. Um, again, like, do you want to buy a house when you have a lot of debt and now you're adding a mortgage on top of it? So it's just kind of that slow down to go fast kind of concept that we talk about. So slowing down, meaning let's maybe pay down some of this debt before adding another really big purchase on top of everything. So that's, I think, a big part of why the lenders look at it because people are not always good at about doing that on their own. And then the fifth thing I want you to think about is there, what is your want? What is that driving factor? Are you buying a house because, you know, everybody you know in your age group, your friend circle is buying a house right now and so you wanna just jump on that bandwagon too because you feel like it's the thing that you're supposed to do at this point in your life, that's probably not a great reason to buy a house. Um, so just dig a little bit deeper and think about, you know, what are your answers to those other questions? Are you doing this for you? Are you doing this to uh, keep up with the Joneses, as they say? Uh, 
you know, where is that desire coming from? So just some things to think about to just go a little bit deeper before committing to the concept of home ownership. I'm definitely not here to talk you out of it, but I do respect that it's a big financial decision for all of us and it's not always the right thing at the right time in our life to do. So if you want to talk to somebody more about these topics, I'm happy to be a resource to you, whether you email me or call either one I'm open to. Um, we can definitely talk about numbers and connect you with people, whether you're still thinking you'd like to buy a house in these last couple of months of the year or whether it's a 2021 goal. I'm here for you. I'm, I'm happy you checked in. Thank you so much.